morning prayer on Saturday the 9th of May. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt, and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness, and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 34 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him and be radiant, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor soul cried, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Blessed is he is, is one who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, all you his holy ones. For those who fear him lack nothing. Lions may suffer, may lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord will lack nothing that is good. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is, who is there who delights in life? And longs for days to enjoy good things. Keep your tongue from evil. And your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against all who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears them and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, 
and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all the Lord will deliver them. He keeps all their bones, so that not one of them is broken. But evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants. And will condemn none who seek refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. He went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. They were astounded at his teaching, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Let us alone! What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. When the demon had thrown him down before them, he came out of him without having done any harm. They were all amazed and kept saying to one another, What kind of utterance is this? For with, the authority and, with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and out they come. And a report about him began to reach every place in the region. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, and you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we give thanks for this new day. Send the Holy Spirit on us for all that we do today. Be in our hearts for all the tasks we, we achieve today, the conversations we have, and the thoughts that we have. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of God. We pray that they may proclaim the risen Lord through their deeds, through their words, 
through their self-sacrifice. Give us the strength to know the good news and to proclaim it to those who are yet to hear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are in difficulties at this time, through lockdown, through work commitments, through lack of work. Be with them. Shine a light into their lives, that they may know your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those in hospital and in nursing homes. May they be kept safe and well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.